Hey everybody, when you open up YouTube, you wanna make sure that you are signed in to the correct account. So you can click on the icon here. I'm not currently signed into the correct account. Really simple, switch account, choose the right one. And you will end up eventually in the correct account. So to add videos, you can also create, but I haven't done that in YouTube. You click right here on the top corner, create a video and more. Can upload a video. Drag and drop or choose your file. And let's see, should have one right here. There we go. I don't want to play it. I just want to use it. Grab it and click open. So in here you can rename it. So here is my sample video. And tell people about it if I want to. Choose a thumbnail if I choose. Add it to my different playlists. So in this case, don't have one I'm going to add it to. I can create a new one, which I'll call STEM teachers. Here you can change your visibility from public, private, or unlisted. If it's unlisted, you have to give people the direct link. I keep my videos public so that way the students can access them either on their phone or from a different computer. So here I go, I'm gonna add this to my STEM list. Click done, go to, ah. So my audience, is this made for kids? So I choose not made for kids. It helps with the um, blocking that sometimes happens from ITD. You do want to make sure it's public as well because if it's not sometimes the kids can't access it and click next. No thank you. Next. So here I'm going to make sure it's public. Don't need to send it as an instant premiere. I can choose when I'm going to make it public. I'm just going to keep it now and click publish. Great. Sometimes I copy that link and throw it in my Schoology, this shows you all of the videos that you have and their current visibility. So I do have like one or two unlisted um, because they were for you guys. And so I sent the link directly here. I'm actually going to make it public now and I should be able to add it to a playlist if I wanted to. Add to playlist and STEM teachers. So this is kind of like your bulk edit that you have in Schoology. So if you need to go through and double check what you have going on, you have that ability. That's it. Really simple to start a YouTube channel. You can go back to your channel. This is the link I copy for the kids that I've posted into my Schoology account. If you have questions, please let me know. I am here to help. Have an amazing day.